25 here, and today we're going to take a first look the Drake Vulture, the brand new salvaging ship of Drake Interplanetary. And uh, yeah, I wasn't actually trying to move my guy around, but uh, it's one of the new things in 318. Regular player characters get the NPC movements. Anyway, we're here at Arc L1 Wide Forest Station, uh, which is actually broken with some of the elevators. So that's been a fun adventure to move in and out of the PU, especially with all the inventory issues going on. And let's just say 318 has a long way to go before this thing's ready for open PTU or even live. But we're going to do our best to check out the Drake Vulture. This is not a tutorial on salvaging, although we are going to be doing some salvaging because that's the entire... Quit moving, dude. That's the entire point of, of, of the Vulture. So, yeah, let's get to it. guys so here is the drake vulture i'm sure some of you have already seen it at iae and messed around with it and played around with it it's a pretty interesting ship um truth be told this is probably the 10th time i've tried to make this video and for one reason or another it just doesn't get done usually because of the instability of the ptu but, but here is the vulture from the very front we can see that there are the salvage beams already on here. Um, we're going to go over those in just a few minutes. Uh, directly ahead of us is the cab to the Vulture. Um, we do sit up there. Um, and this, this entire apparatus here, uh, these arms are made for salvage. So that is how we get the salvage in and out of the ship. It is a symmetrical ship. Um, all the PTU has is this canary yellow type of color. The arms are a very large part of the ship. You can see that the rest of the ship is not that big, although it does have some areas for uh, living quarters in there. There's a bed, and you know, we'll explore that in a few minutes. Notice on the very top is a weird-looking spoiler thing. It's kind of odd and uh, wigs me out sometimes, but it does have the really cool drake uh engines the classic drake engines with the what i can only assume is a variable exhaust nozzle on the back much like a real world uh engine in in the back here is a cargo door um one of the other entrances and maybe your primary entrance on the ship and uh the cargo grid is also in there remember 318 has a new type of cargo grid system um, on the left here is a ladder, and uh, this ladder will actually let you up into the ship um, to get into the cab, and there's a different way to actually get down as well. Notice it has its weapons up there right next to the, the pilot's canopy. Um, there are two gimbaled size ones that come stock on this, so it is definitely not a fighter. Not a fighter. So let's see if there's any. I don't think there's any interactables in here. Um, it's really just the ladder, and I, I don't think we can. There's no places to store our weapons or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of the two ramp access buttons here in the back to open it. I do like how quick the ramp comes out. It looks like we could actually probably. Not only can we fit cargo in here, we could probably fit some other stuff in here, like. Uh, Maybe a Cyclone, probably a Mule, maybe a Steve, something like that. We might try to do that later in the video. Um, we do have a, a lights button in here that that should. There we go. There's the full lights for the ship. And we can close this door. And it's also very quick to close. I don't see anything else working in here besides lights and open and close. This kind of decking right here is your cargo grid. 
and I believe it is three SCU. Um, and you can stack as well. So I think it's a total of six SCU. Let's play around with it. And this whole apparatus right here is the SCU that comes out is uh, the salvage tool station and or the salvage station in general. And this is where your boxes of RMC are going to poop out right out of this little conveyor system right here. Um, we're going to use this guy more a little bit later, but uh, for the RMC in here, this is uh, you can set it to auto eject when it's full. Um, you can eject it early. You can you have the ability to create certain types of bits and things like that for uh, as, as well. Um, when you do like if you need to do hand salvage or something like that, you can create the cans and things like that. But that's really about it. Uh, there are some buttons here for this, like the shield generator you can open and there's some component access in this room. Uh, looks like that's the fuel tank, and no, there's not a whole lot. <laughs> Power system up here, no buttons uh, that work. You know, if you need to do some engineering gameplay when it's one day when it's in, uh, you can do that. Here's another door here. This basically just leads to the ladder, and the ladder leads to the upper deck, so we're going to go ahead and take it. This part right here always confuses me because you got to turn to the right to go forward, but in here is voila it's like a closet basically over here it looks like a gun storage uh area where you can put guns over here is going to be some kind of a ship storage or a hang your coat up type of type of deal here is where the quantum drive sits and the life support the quantum drive is the only one that actually opens up we'll close that in here is your bed um, you have some kind of a system access. It's a very general bed, messy blanket. Sorry, I'm a messy sleeper. Pretty, pretty basic, pretty Drake. Pretty basic Drake here. Um, we don't have any access to, like, storage up there, but there's some more components. You get a sleep right next to your power plants and your coolers. Some kind of other device here. Gravity generator and a battery. So, oh, there is a restroom here, so... One day when hygiene gameplay is a thing, we'll have our full toilet here. I believe this does open into uh, the toilet. So, shower and toilet, fellas. Okay, coming into the main uh, cockpit cab here. Kind of very reminiscent of a prospector, if uh, if that makes sense. All this is Drake, not Misk. Up here is your computer and something else that you can't get to and here is your radar and now these buttons don't work uh that looks like a scanner okay the cockpit is pretty basic it is an open cockpit so it's nice to see that um when you want to get out of the ship through the cab you got to click here you got to open that door i haven't been able to get out through the seat um so to get up here there is some decking uh just outside the cab of the vulture and you can also hop on top right here it means you can walk along this arm and things like that um it's an, it's an interesting part of the design um i like kind of how it has that cab though we're gonna go ahead and enter the pilot seat from here there we go I don't think I don't think that door closed. Oh, there it goes. OK, it closed now. And now we have a much more centered look. I hate that HUD flashing, but I hope they fix that soon. We're going to go ahead and start the engines. And go flight ready. All right, a quick cockpit tour here. Normal HUD up here. We have two multi purpose displays uh, up here on the top, along with our 2D radar and our warning panel. You see these little blue footprints on the screen. That's actually salvage, guys. That's the salvage marker. That's what it looks like. We also have two MFDs down here at the bottom with our ship status and a target screen. As far as buttons go, I'm trying to move the mouse around and see where all that stuff is. If anything is, oh, looks like there's some switches here. There's power. What else we got? Well, it looks like it's just power. That's engine on, engine off. This one is quantum spooling. 
And these ones are the exteriors and exit to rear and exit ship. So maybe this one on the left actually lets me exit the ship to the left. But see, I can open the door here. I just don't know if I can exit. Maybe CIG fix that. So with that being said, let's uh, go ahead and call for takeoff here. There we go. So the ship doesn't have VTOL as far as moving the engines back. But uh, if I hit K, you can see that there's a cover. And these are basically a kind of constellation like VTOL thrusters right in the center, right above the Drake planetary interplanetary logo. There we go. That is essentially our VTOL. We're going to go ahead and lift up. It is rear heavy. So that's just kind of how that works. We have our landing gear here. We're going to cycle those up for landing gear. We'll level out the ship and we'll take off. Oh, excuse me. So we are going to do a little bit of atmosphere flying uh, when we come in to trade our RMC. Um, head into the cockpit here. Notice the SCM marker up up in the top stays up high. That has to be fixed. Um, but we're going to do some ammo flying uh, a little bit later. Right now, we're just kind of flying around in space. I'd like to get to the SCM speed. Just like that. OK, it looks like 160 ish is the SCM speed. It is slow to boost or I'm not to boost it's slow to accelerate and decelerate Ugh, it's taking a while okay I'm gonna go ahead and boost it up see if we can hit our max speed here the boost does last quite a while though it looks like our max speed is 1113 maybe 1114 something like that I need to slow down make sure I don't hit the asteroids because that'll end the video early so we'll go ahead and use our face break and our boost again to uh, see if we can't lower our speed a little bit here and the reason I started the video here is because there should be mineables or salvageables I should say right out here so we'll go ahead and give a ping Where's all our feet? Go? Okay, there's some feet up here. We're going to head towards those guys. Don't know how far away they are, but... Normally, they don't show up just like that. You actually have to go to where there's some salvage. So I'm wondering if that's a bug. Like, you know, you get the display bugs if anybody's ever played Star Citizen here. Sometimes there's display bugs. All right, well, I'm going to go find a mineable or um, a mineable. I'm stuck in this lingo here. I'm going to find a salvageable and I'll get back to you as soon as I find one. All right, folks, we are here at a salvageable. <laughs> One thing that is deceptive is these arms in the front. They do stick out further than you think. So it looks like we found some kind of a part of a ship or something like that. Some piece of space junk floating around in space here. And uh, let's go ahead and throw our lights on it. Not great lights at all. Like really horrible lights, to be honest. Um, first thing I do want to show you before we go into salvaging here. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to go to options. You can go to your key bindings. Uh, this is mouse and keyboard. And there is a section in here for PH vehicle salvage. In here, you can toggle your gimbal for your salvage beams, and we'll show you that. Um, you can mess with the beam spacing. Um, increase, decrease, and relative. Um, absolute beam spacing. Um, left alt and mouse button two is your salvage beam axis. And then... You cycle your salvage modifiers, or basically your salvage tools, um, left and right with mouse button two. Same mouse button for left and right, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So with that, first thing we're going to do is just like mining, we're going to hit M and we're going to go into salvage mode. 
You see our little salvage beams kind of came out there. Let's see if I can get a better... Uh, well, the lights are just... There we go. So that's kind of what those uh, those things look like there. Um, back into the cockpit. We can see on the bottom of the screen, kind of in this area, uh, it tells us it's valid RMC. And our beams are going to go left and right instead of up and down. Um, over here on the left, we can see that we and the right, we have both of our modules that we use to mine, which is called the Baylor Salvage Head. Attached to the Baylor Salvage Head is the Cinch Wrapper Module, which is a very fine beam, and I believe it's it's you can only put it on the Vulture right now. And then the other one that we can switch to is the Abrade Scrapper Module, which is it's a bigger beam, so it sucks in RMC faster but it's uh, less efficient. So right here on the on the screen here, we can see the, the cinch beam is a diameter of 1.5, a speed of 0.6, and efficiency of 0.85. If we switch to the other beam, you see it's less efficient at 0.76. Speed is 0.14, diameter of 3.5. So, I mean... I don't know if it really matters if it, it the quality of the RMC that you get, but it does affect um, how much you're taking in, I guess. So with that, uh, it's it's the oh, before I guess before we start here, notice I'm moving the nose of the ship and that will um, a left mouse button starts the salvage. But as I move the nose of the ship, that will actually start sucking in the salvage here. And you can see it's starting to go. You can see there's a hole starting to, to form. And as we suck all the salvage in, the valid area down here at the bottom starts to starts to change. So we definitely want to make sure we stay. And you can kind of use it in your peripheral. To stay in the valid area. Make sure we're not trying to salvage raw space or something. But as we're salvaging that, we turn the beam off. If we hit G for gimbal, we don't have to move the no nose of the ship around. These things are actually on a gimbal. So we're going to hit G. They moved a little bit, but now we can just move the gimbal around like this. And the ship can stay in one spot. So I really like how that was done and that these are on a gimbal. Um, it seems to help. It, it seems to make it work better for me. So you can see how slow the cinch scrapper module is going. And let me go ahead and stop. You notice up here it says cargo 0.75 out of one SCU. Filler station's ready. We're almost full up with our uh, our RMC here in, in the ship itself. So we're gonna go ahead and fill up one unit and what it's going to do, it's going to actually poop out a box. And we're going to have one SCU and it's going to eject itself automatically. Then it's going to start filling up the other box by itself. But the, the catch here is that you can you can only do that once before. Yeah, filler station ejecting. We'll wait for it to eject. You can only do that once before you have to go down there and manually move the boxes out. Um, because the, the conveyor belt only goes one spot out and right now it's filling up the other one when it's ready to eject it'll get stuck and it'll tell us it's, it gets stuck so i'm gonna go ahead and switch to the abrade scrapper module it's a little faster less efficient but faster if you can see on the screen it's just taking it's taking this piece really quickly you can see we're filling up our RMC canister much faster. I actually like salvaging. I mean, right now, I, I, I you know, it's tier zero. There's not a whole lot of risk to it. Uh, I'm sure it's going to change over time, but it's pretty chill. It's like how chill mining used to be for me. 
Okay, so that thing is filled up. Filler station obstructed. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Now we're going to exit our seat. And we need to go move those RMC canisters. Let's head to the back. All right. And here you can see here's one that's already filled up. There's one over here waiting. So something we can do, uh, we can look here. And uh, we have the air. You have to clear the conveyor. Um, but we do have the option to create. We can create a Cambio SRT can. And that's created. And there it is right there. We're going to click on that. We're going to pick that up. And I believe it automatically stores it. And I think it stores it on your belt as well. So we're going to go ahead and bring out our multi-tool. There we go. We're going to hit J. We can inspect it. Notice that there is a gray cat uh, life alert thing screwed in here. We're going to click on that and the lifeguard refill is what's in there. You take that off. Go back. On this guy, we need to put our true hold tractor beam attack. I'm going to hit J. And then uh, we'll use our tractor beam here. And see the cargo grid, how it snaps. So we have one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. And then they can stack as well. So we'll go ahead and uh, put that unit right there. And then this guy that's inside of here, go to cargo, and we'll go ahead and eject it. Oh, now, oh, because I used some of the RMC, it won't automatically eject. Because now it's at 0 0.97. That's okay. Um, but if you do notice in here, I don't have anything uh on the i can't put the canister in because it doesn't show up so when i go to exit i'll try to bring up my inventory here so nothing is, is showing up in the vehicle inventory and in the personal inventory there's nothing there because should it's going to be hard to see here should have stored it on my belt somewhere can't see it. It's hard to see. Those are really small. But even if it didn't, I should be able to just hit R for reload. Nope. Nope. Well, maybe he dropped it. <laughs> and if he dropped it, it's definitely gone. Let's see if I can uh, create another one. Real quick. Great. Let's grab that. Oh, I can't grab it with here. I don't know what he did with it. Uh, it's not in my hand. It's not in my inventory. It's not in the ship inventory. I assumed he would actually just store it on the belt. But. But I don't <laughs> I don't see it. But yet another bug with the PTU. But if you do have them in your inventory here or on your belt, um, and you hit R when you have the multi-tool out, it will reload. Um, that canister is used for hand salvage, and when you go salvage something by hand, it fills up that canister. And uh, you can also, uh, with your salvage gun now, hit B, and it'll go from salvage to repair. I can actually show you guys that real quick. Notice it says tractor. Oh, well, it's because I have a tractor beam. Well, never mind. I can't show you that because I don't have the uh, attachment bit and they don't sell it at Arc L1, um, sadly. Um, but when you have the salvage gun out and then the, the attachment in there, you hit B and uh, you go from repair, uh, from salvage to repair, from re repair to salvage back and forth. Let's go collect some more RMC. And I'll get back with you once uh, this... this uh, Piece of salvage is completely salvaged, and the ship is completely filled up with RMC. And then we'll go, we'll go take the ship, uh, we'll go sell the RMC and do some other stuff. See, see what it looks like.
All right, guys. So from that one little piece of salvage, we can see we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight SCU of RMC from that thing. And we have another one in here, bacon. That's about a half. So one little piece can get you quite a bit of RMC. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to head back to uh, our corp to one of the only places I know where you can kind of sell it is at Dumpers Depot at our corp. And uh, we're going to fly through the atmosphere and feel how the ship flies. Um, we'll check. Actually, we'll do. We're going to do that. And then right now we're going to just hop in here and uh, fly the ship through space a little bit. Take mining mode off. There we go. Okay. So the the vulture here, uh, it is of course an industrial ship. It's made for a single player not to play in it. Uh, it does have eight thousand uh, hit points on the body for a total of thirty-two thousand hit points. So it's it's not super armored, but it does have a little bit. Um, its max speed here on Urkel is 1114 meters a second. Uh, quantum fuel is 583 liters, so that is pretty standard. A uh, hydrogen capacity, 360,000. The, like I said, it comes with two CF-117 Bulldogs on a gimbal, so those are fine weapons. Just leave them there. Right now, it comes with two Baylor salvage heads uh, that have both the cinch and the abrade trapper modules to fall by, and, uh, by default. The shields are industrial grade C bulwarks, uh, which. I, 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 OK, it's an industrial ship. Why not have industrial shields? It has two Fortitude industrial grade C power plants, two industrial grade C Thermax uh, coolers and uh, no missiles or anything like that. It does come with a Goliath industrial grade C quantum drive. I would probably recommend swapping that out. Uh, to like an Atlas or a Voyage, just so you can have a faster quantum drive in the Vulture. Um, as far as power draw and cooler draw, you're we're not even at an eighth, uh, so there's no reason to swap any of that stuff out. Um, just keep in mind, it is a size one ship um, with, with size one shields. Uh, so even though it might have uh, two shields, you might want to consider upgrading those as well to something a little more powerful, like some of the grade A's out there. So we're going to go ahead and take this ship back to our corp. You see how it flies around here in, in space? It's OK. It's nothing to write home about. The roll is pretty good in space. The pitch is pretty average. Um, the yaw, the yaw is actually pretty good, so it's it's very similar. I think it moves faster, but it's similar to a prospector, uh, especially in space. So we're going to fly back to our corp, see how that feels. And so just stick with us. All right, guys, so we are now flying around our corp here. We made it in and the ship moves and feels kind of like I expected it to. It has some decent, some decent yaw and roll still in atmosphere significantly slower as you would expect similar to a misc prospector um the pitch is actually pretty darn good the on the roll are pretty slow but you know it's it's just kind of what i thought it would be like so take it as you will um yeah that wasn't even i was doing a little faster than scm but uh even at SCM, I, I don't think it's going to be be better. Yeah, the roll is pretty darn slow. As so we come up here in the spaceport. So I'm going to go ahead and land this sucker and we will uh, see you at Dumper's Depot. And see how much it, and if we can sell this RMC in the PTU.
All right, so using that button, you are able to get off the ship uh, to the left. Uh, just, just to let you guys know, that is a possible thing here. All right, so I do have my inventory open, and I do want to show I did pick up a Cameo light SRT attachment. This is the salvage attachment. I'm going to throw that now that inventory is working into my backpack. And so that's the bit for the multi-tool. You have to go under ammo to get to the canisters. So I'm actually going to put them here. I'm going to see they are up here. They are. They were attached. So I'm not sure why it didn't load those into the multi-tool. Maybe you have to have the canister attached to do that. Now I'm going to throw those into my backpack as well. And we'll see if we can bring out the multi-tool, inspect it. We'll go ahead and throw this Cameo Light SRT attachment on there. And then, oh, there we go. So now we can put hands in there. Um, you can put one in like that, and it shows up just like that. And that's how you do that. Also, from here, if you want to kind of reload the canister, if it's full and you want to get an empty one, um, you just hit R. Well, well, no, that's holding R and it puts that away. So maybe it has to be full to actually have the reload mechanic work. But you can see it is on salvage. If I hit B, it goes over to repair. So that is uh, basically how to do the multi-tool. Repair and salvage. We're going to make our way here to Dumper's Depot. And, I, you know, when I tested this earlier, well, in a previous patch, I wasn't able to sell RMC I got from hand salvage. But uh, I was able to sell the RMC, and I'm curious to see if it's uh, a different price. So I'll beat you in Dumper's Depot. All right, guys, so we're coming up to Dumper's Depot here in R Corp. And uh, the the way the place we used to go for to buy stuff was right here, which is actually the commodity shop. If you do want to buy parts at Dumber Depot, you have to go to this screen or there's a screen back behind here as well. Somewhere right there. But if you want to sell this commodity, which you should be able to sell at admins and other commodity shops, go ahead and click this. Uh, I'm going to go to sell. <laughs> and of course, uh, we can't sell this. Let's, I guess we can try the inventory here. I'm new to this system, so you'll have to give me a, a break. Well, we're all still learning it. Break Vulture. There we go. Okay, cargo grid 8 out of 12 SCU, which is exactly what we had. Um, this... Recycled material composites. Yeah. <laughs> it's not showing that I can sell any of it. So that's fantastic. Um, all right. Well, oh, there cannot sell. So it's under cannot sell. So let's uh, let's get out of Dumper's Depot, even though there's a sell thing on there. Let's go to the admin of Area 18 and we'll see if we can sell it there. Hang on. All right, we're here at the admin area of Area 18 and let's see if we can sell it here. Select an inventory. Need having to scroll through a million ships. Big Vulture. Oh, we can definitely buy stuff. Selling. In demand, there's a bunch of stuff we could sell here. I guess if it's in demand. Um, there's nothing not in demand. I don't necessarily see RMC there. But once again, it is under the cannot sell. So we can't sell it to the admin. 
Um, we can't sell it at Dumber's Depot. Well, I guess we can try the trade division. Let's see if we can sell it there. Right over here, so I'm not going to cut. I thought we were going to get it with the admin, but... Maybe the trade division is the key. I remember coming back here... Back in the day when we actually had... Uh, Mission, well, not missions, but when we can actually make money doing this. All right, let's select our inventory. Once, well, let's go to sell. Select our inventory once again. Great vulture. In demand is, yeah. You saw how excited I got. In demand, recycle material composite, eight SCU. We're going to click on that. We're going to sell all eight for 61 and a half thousand credits. So there we go. Confirm. And the balance went up. So what did it cost me there? Um, it basically cost me about uh, 500 500 to a thousand SC or, or, or sorry, 500 to a thousand Alpha UEC to get out of our corp quantum over there. Um, it took maybe 10 to 15 minutes of mine of mining of salvaging and then coming back here. So time wise, all together, probably something like 30 to 45 minutes between the quantum times. Then coming back here to TDD. Um, now, granted, I only sold eight of the RMC, uh, SCU, but 60,000, um, RMC, that's not, I mean, it's, it's not fantastic. Uh, I don't know if it gets better if you use the other, the other salvage tools or not. Um, but that puts it at about seven and a half, a little over seven and a half thousand credits per SCU. Um, so I'm not sure if that's on, on par with Quantanium or not, as far as SCU of Quantanium. Um, we know that the Prospector can hold 32 SCU, um, but you also have to go through the refining and all that stuff with uh, with mining. With Right now, with Tier 0 implementation of salvaging, you don't. So one could argue that, uh, let's see, if I had a full 12... Uh, SCU in salvage, it would come out to about 92,000, a little over 92,000 uh, credits. So with 10 salvage runs on just that one piece of metal, really, uh, maybe one and a half pieces, you're looking at a million credits. So not, not horrible. I think it'll get better over time. I actually had quite a good time doing it. Um, and maybe that's because it's new. The new mechanic it's a honeymoon type thing um we i'm gonna have java uh do the the hand salvaging portion of this because he likes to do hand mining and things like that um so look forward to that video coming up pretty soon but that's uh just things that java likes to do <laughs> for me it's just a little bit too slow it's just a little bit too slow and i'm in like i'm in like a bad part of art corp right here i'm gonna sit down with this guy and uh, let's talk about final thoughts. So what did we learn today? Uh, as Jared likes to say, we learned a lot about salvaging, <laughs> even though this wasn't a salvage tutorial. We learned about the Drake Vulture, really, and what it can do and how much money it can make you if you spend some time on it. Uh, this is the PTU, guys, so I'm sure these values are going to change prior to... Uh, the release to the live servers or probably before even open PTU. Uh, we learned that you have to go to the trade development division uh, at, at R Corp. Uh, it's the same thing, I believe, at Microtech. Uh, at Hurston, it's the Central Business District. And I think it's the TDD on Orison as well. You trade your RMC. Maybe there's other places that you could trade it as well. I would be interested, interested to know. So if you could put that in the comments, all the other places you can sell your RMC. Uh, salvaging, it's it's actually really chill. It's 
I, I don't know if I'd say fun. I had fun doing it, but maybe your your fun is different than my fun. It reminds me of old school mining where it was a lot simpler and it didn't have the crazy amount of mechanics involved. And it was about mining and getting it to the trade division and selling it and making a good profit. And that was that was a lot more fun for me. So this Doug bet does beg the question, should you get a vulture or should you get a rec uh, reclaimer? The reclaimer has two separate mining stations that don't move like the vulture does. Um, it's interesting, and they have a lot more cargo room to put your RMC. So you could make a literal fortune if you kind of had a team of guys going. Uh, you, you really need to have a pilot and other people in the Reclaimer if you want to be efficient at it. You can do it solo. I wouldn't recommend it. I've, I've tried it before with some in an earlier build, and it was not fun uh, solo. So... There we go, guys. The Drake Vulture, brand new salvaging with uh, Star Citizen Alpha 318. Hope you guys had a good time in the video. If if we did earn your uh, patronage here on the video, please consider liking and subscribing uh, to the like in the video, subscribing to the channel. Uh, it, it does help the channel grow. And let me know your comments. We, we are interested to hear what you guys have to say about you know 318 or salvaging or the vulture whatever you guys want to talk about it's really up to you uh joe and i do our best to answer each and every single comment because i don't like having comments uh unanswered even if it's just a thanks for watching uh if if you want to help the channel grow please consider sharing the video on your social media accounts uh with some friends things like that that actually helps promote uh the video as well so that's about all I got. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Uh, maybe in 318 Live. Uh, probably before that. Uh, I'm Fist25. Good night, Stan.